The North Bergen High School bands and chorus couldn't be more excited. They are rehearsing for Wednesday's virtual winter concert with great anticipation and joy. Is we can reach a much larger audience than we would have in a conventional in a conventional concert. Normally we get a few hundred people, but now we could literally reach thousands. So if you have family that lives an hour away, they can sit and watch. As far as the community, a lot of the community doesn't realize how strong the arts and music program is in the high school and the district at large. So this would allow people that never would have come to a concert to tune in and see, you know, the great work that all the teachers do within the district. Uh, the freshmen in the concert chorus is going to be together this year because we are a bit smaller, so they're going to be doing two selections, and the advanced chorus is also a separate a separate choir. They're going to be doing two selections. You're going to miss the fact that there won't be an audience. There will be, but they won't be here in the room. It's virtual. Is that a little bit disappointing, or you obviously understand why it's being done? Honestly, it doesn't really matter. Obviously, I would like to be heard by other people, but the most important thing is for ourselves, singing for ourselves. It's part of choir. It's singing so that you can enjoy music. And that's what happens when you're performing. You're enjoying the music and you're singing along. And that's portrayed by, by your love of doing it. The audience that's listening and watching can pick up on that and they realize that. Exactly. The band is led by directors Paul Major and Michael Connor. Each director will lead a portion of the musical selections. Between myself and Mr. Major's set, um, we have three concert band, uh, well, six concert band. I do three concert band pieces. He does three concert band pieces. Then there's a uh, wind ensemble, which is like my select. It's like a more of a select group. And then we have a com big combined like chorus and band uh, thing that we do um, that we do at the end of the concert. That's going to be cool. You know, it's one thing when you're at home and you have to play every single one of the notes correctly, like not play a wrong note, things like that. But it's another thing when you're listening to even just the people in your own section that are sitting right next to you, and you hear, oh wait, I should be playing it this way and conveying this type of emotion you know, to properly convey, you know, every single aspect that the composer of the piece was hoping to achieve by creating the musical arrangement. Everybody, because at home you're only hearing yourself play. Here you're with the entire band, you're hearing the people next to you, you're hearing the people behind you, you're actually seeing the conductor conduct the, the rhythm, the notes, and like the tempo of the um, song. During the pandemic, we were able to have some, uh, when it was milder weather, we were able to go once a week to the back of the, uh, the back of the high school, and we set up in the parking lot in the, 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 or in the, the back alley there, and we were able to get some stuff done where I got to see them every so often. But for most part, it was all on a screen where it's near impossible to, 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 to run a rehearsal. The kids are talented. This is not your run-of-the-mill, you know, school program. These are some really talented kids that make fantastic music. The concert code to tune in to the performance will be available shortly on the high school's webpage and social media outlets. Parents will also receive an email. At North Bergen High School, for Hudson TV, I'm Jeff Hennig.